Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages that I get from Spirit for all of us who are all on this journey to love. And uh, today, uh, so this is for those who are on this vibrational, energetic journey to reunite with their divine vibrational match. And uh, I'm going to share some letters for the Divine Love Letters books, um, but also I'm going to share a message via these cards, the Messages of Love Oracle cards, which is just this crazy, beautiful deck, which just gives crazy, amazing answers to things. So the question that I'm just asking is, what does your twin want you to know? And so the message is that an addiction is affecting this relationship. <clears throat> so if you're anything like me, then my twin suffers from uh, alcohol, drugs addiction, sex addiction, the whole lot. And uh, so, yeah, I get that totally. Uh, this person is your mirrored soul and your sacred counterpart. There you go. So um, it is safe to know that they are, you are not going crazy that these that the addiction card could be anything right as well it could be addiction to toxic relationships addiction to uh feeling uh, one of the things that really came through i had a qhht session um which is a quantum healing uh hypnosis um session and one came that came through was that my twin this uh in this lifetime um had to accept that it was okay to be happy and uh, that he didn't have to suffer and because he'd had a lot of, you know, from carrying over from past lives and he'd done like things that were bad in past lives like we all have. We are all a collection of the good, the bad, the ugly. And um, so in this life he had to, he has to learn that it's okay to be happy. So it's an addiction to, uh, you know, telling yourself that you you can't be, you can't be happy basically that this life is for suffering. So I understand that completely because that is something that totally came through and that's something that we all kind of carry in some way. There is this kind of like uh, notion that we have to struggle through this life because a lot of it is, you know, even when we're on this spiritual path, then we know that this is a dense energy to get through. We know that that can be hard, but at the same time, it's about expressing uh, the divine and that's actually love and love isn't hard when we just love and um, in the purest sense of the word and that's what we're here to get to uh, so I totally get that I understand that a hundred percent so the last and here's my little dog Berry just wanting to come up and say hello down um, so the last the last message what uh, I feel drawn to this one which is this the other things, the other challenges, financial challenges are affecting the relationship as well. You know, so much is like, um, again, I can just relate it to my situation. And then often, you know, we all share the same things. But basically, I also know that my twin is, you know, in like, bizarrely, he has, he is very traditional. <laughs> even though he has like a completely untraditional way of, of uh, life at the moment. But deep down, he is really traditional because he's said to me uh, that if he was, you know, basically when he first met me, he said, but you're like the wife and children. And uh, so he has this like very traditional notion and also has this traditional notion of needing to provide and all that sort of things as well. So these cards, again, are just so spot on because they completely um, speak to my situation and I'm sure to many of us. So uh, one more. Um, so that's why we need to lean on our inner circle at this time. Wow, there you go. Like so amazing, these cards. They really are. I cannot speak highly enough of them because they are so spot on. Look at that. The bottom was that someone is secretly yearning for you. So they are yearning for you. There just is stuff going on for them, whether that's addiction to whatever, addiction to being, uh, feeling uh, that they're not good enough or addiction to toxic relationships or, you know, whatever they're working through because they've got to deal with their karma. Um, so, but just know that this is your twin flame. It is your mirrored soul and your sacred counterpart. So this is the time to lean on, you know, lean on each other for support. That's why the crystal grid is that I do is so amazing because we share all these crazy things, all the signs, the synchronicities, the magic.
So with that, I'm going to share Tanya's uh, poem from Tanya's book, a Crystal Grid member, and she has her. Um, if you follow her on Instagram, it's at t underscore uh, flourishing goddess. But the poem is on page 25. There you go, 25. So I will read the corresponding letter. But the poem is about vulnerability. So she allows herself to be stripped bare by life. Heart ripe as a summer's nectarine. Mind clear like the rippling sea. That's kind of beautiful. And yesterday in the fruit bowl, there was just one nectarine. <laughs> so if you have vulnerability, she allows herself to be stripped bare by life. Heart ripe as a summer's nectarine. Mind clear like the rippling sea. Such beautiful poems in here. So I would highly recommend this book. T underscore flourishing goddess. Uh, on Insta, you can get the link in her bio. And these cards, again, they are by um, all thing, at all things intuitive. But ultimately, the twin flame card there yet again. So what are the things that are impacting this connection? It's things like addiction to stuff, uh, finances, you know, the practical stuff. Um, and just knowing that, you know, at the moment, it's all about rely... Um, uh, leaning on your support team, you know, the people that are in this, that we're in it together. Don't think that you're on your own because you're not. So 25, don't freak out. Don't go into panic mode because I can feel it. I sense it and it makes me nervous and want to run away and hide. I'm having so much drama at home. I just need to feel calm somewhere to feel peace inside. I feel like my insides are being churned up and I'm in inner turmoil. Please know and feel me and know that our love is the only true thing that I've ever had in my life. The love I, lo I have for you is overwhelming, intoxicating, overpowering and completely and utterly dumbfounding. Like the first time you see your firstborn, a complete immense rush of heart opening love that never goes away and never fades. I know whose letter this is. Uh, so if you're listening, then I know who you are. Two peas in a pod. Uh, right. 25 is, wow, you make my heart literally explode with the flames of passion. Like a huge explosion that blew open my heart fully. It exposed me and left me feeling vulnerable. Ah, crazy. The poem's name is Vulnerable for the first time in my life. I usually am the one in control, very headstrong, but you, you changed everything for me. The flame is ignited and is burning away. The inside treasure of unconditional love has been found. The lock has been opened. You open the lock and only you hold the key. It is only you who holds the sacred key to my heart. Believe that we are each other's sacred holders. We are meant to find each other again and again and again. Our hearts will keep drawing us back to one another until we fulfill our destiny and truly unlock the secrets held within our hearts. Well, there you go. So the secret destiny of our hearts. So, so many times I've gone to say I love you, but I always get tongue tied and my mind goes into overdrive, making me think, well, what if she says it's not what I want? And what if I get rejected? That's my biggest fear. The fear of letting my heart be truly open and truly say what I really feel for fear of being rejected. It brings back all the memories of being so deeply hurt before, which made me put a big hard shell around me. You have been the only one that has been able to touch my shell. Your hands have not only touched it, they have pried it open to let the light in. Please stay with me because I want so very much to be with you. Okay, so a beautiful message to say. I do so very much want to be with you, so please stay with me. Right, and lastly, I'm going to do uh, a mantra for today. 25. As I live my life with the intent to spread love, I see magic everywhere. So as I live my life with the intent to spread love, I see magic everywhere. 
So this is from my Divine Love Mantra book, 60 mantras, one for every minute. Uh, you basically turn to whichever page you feel drawn to. I am a love warrior and I let my inner tiger roar and then repeat it for six, 60 seconds. And uh, as you repeat that, it's basically set, like sending little love bombs out to the universe, out to your twin, and just uh, creating that bubble of intent and bubble of love for you to come together. If you want any of my books and they're all available on Amazon, all the details are in the description box against this video. Um, but in the meantime, I hope that helps. And remember the poetry book is by T underscore Flourishing Goddess at T underscore Flourishing Goddess on Instagram. And these amazing cards uh, are from um, at All Things Intuitive on Instagram. All right, I hope that helps. Take care, have a great day. If you want a healing, reading, channeling, um, <clears throat> or uh, any of my services, then please do. All details are in the description box. But in the meantime, stay well, stay bright, and stay switched on to the light. Take care.